Hey Jules Plus Vegan, and as always, welcome to my channel. And for those of you who are new, I know you can benefit. This is day three, my friends, of self-care challenge. If you're just joining us, you're right on time. Anyway, we are following something from everlywell.com, and it just gives a great idea every day. Implement what you want. Um, you know, take it for what it's worth. So for day three, and I'm always a day ahead, it says, find your inner yogi. Do a yoga flow today, focusing on your breath and your mind. If you really want to get the most out of this practice, set up your space to promote a sense of calm by opening a window, playing soft music, or lighting a candle. I am not a yoga girl, but let's keep going. If you're new to yoga, don't worry. There's several beginner yoga poses. And there's a hyperlink for that, that you can work into your practice like child's pose, forward fold, cat pose, downward facing dog, and savasana. I can't believe that downward facing dog is a beginning yoga pose. <laughs> and then there's a hyperlink and it says, here's a great online yoga practice to get you started. Okay. That is not my story. Not going to do it. But what I recommend, and I'll put it as a hyperlink in the description of the video, is what's called the five-minute Bowflex stretch. And if you've ever heard of Bowflex, it's a very well-known um, company that creates all things for exercise. And they have videos on how to use their different exercisers. But they also just have general videos. And one of them is my favorite. It's the five minute bow flex stretch. What's so great about it is it's literally head to toe for either a warm up or a cool down. And each of the stretches are just 20 seconds and they're very gentle, very gentle. And so, yes, I will put that in there and I will commit to doing that. So today was to eat healthy. It was committed, committing to just eating healthy, maybe healthier than you have been anyway. And I can't say I did great with that. You know, um, never dead animals, praise God, or animal byproducts. Uh, but my choice is what happened was it only takes one thing to mess me up. Like, honestly, my intention was to eat this gigantic mango as a mono meal for lunch. And when I went to dig in, it was like it had rotted spots inside, which you never would have known from the outside. It threw me into a tizzy. And right away, it just changed my mindset. So it wasn't as successful as it could have been. But you know what? I'm not concerned. We're doing 60 days as a gift to ourselves, uh, getting ready for Christmas. One thing that I did right, which was really my main goal, uh, was to make sure that I exercised and and did some strength and some resistance. And I absolutely did that. And, you know, yesterday it was 14,000 steps. Day before it was 12,5. I'm moving my body and I'm getting that resistance in. And so for that, I will rejoice. All right, my friends, like if you like, join us if you haven't, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below how I may support you. I would love to know, were you successful in choosing to eat healthy today? And are you a yoga person? Will you participate in yoga tomorrow? I would love to know. Again, try that five-minute bow flex stretch. It is just a good idea. I often have my students do it just to calm them down. All right, until we talk again, best of all, know that you're blessed.